Kamala Harris. She not a real black woman. And I just want to tell y'all, sister, this is how I know she ain't no real black woman. I ain't never seen her do this. There ain't no black if she ain't doing that. So we is not vote until we see her. She two years, she at least got to be scratching her head like this for two years before she can get our vote. Man, man, they got me f***ed up. I wouldn't dare vote for no black. Now that man, man, listen, I was raised by black women. I got a grandmother. I got black sisters. But I wouldn't dare put no black woman in no in position of the White House. The commander in chief of the military, a black woman. Not only that, a mixed black married to a white man. Her pH balance is way off with that white dick. Man, you can't make me believe. <laughs> Hell no, nah. man, Kamala Harris got a white boy. Her pH balance is off, and her mental stability got to be off. A hoe would have thrown off pH balance unless she's sneaking in. Now, if she's sneaking in a nigga, then we might can let her be vice president. But we, there's no way, America, I'd rather for black people to go back to slavery than let a black woman run this goddamn country. Don't do it. Say, listen, man, I'm against anything with a black woman running shit. You get your ass back in that bedroom and in the kitchen. But the white half, America, we can't do this right now. Hell no. Hell no. I'd rather have before we let her run this mother. Got me fucked up. Go back and get Barack, if anything. Find another mixed baby. But don't put no down. You gave me so much. How did I do with the debate the other night? Oh, oh amazing. That old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of the front. And that means we have Kamala. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so <laughs> pathetic. She's so amazing. She's just can't imagine. But can you imagine that guy with dealing with Putin and the president of China, who's a fierce person? He's a fierce man, a very tough guy. And they see him, they probably they can't. But if, if they just announce he's he's probably quitting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. So this is a crazy situation. Charleston White goes off on Kamala Harris trying to become the next president of America. Now, if you all don't know what's going on, man, the updates had it that the U.S. presidential election, Biden endorses his deputy Kamala Harris to be the presidential candidate of the Democratic Party for the November presidential election. Now, Premium Times report that Mr. Biden withdrew from the race Sunday evening following the criticism from members of his party over his cognitive abilities. Now, this was crazy and he announced his withdrawal from the race on X, I mean, former Twitter. And that's really crazy. And he endorsed his, uh, his, his deputy. I mean, bruh. Isn't this crazy? Now, Charleston seems to have problem with this woman becoming the next president of America. Now, he made it about black women, which is really crazy to me. You get what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if his opinion really changes anything, right? Because you can jump on social media and say all you want to say, but the main question is, does your opinion change anything, right? I mean, your opinion is not going to make him lose or it's not going to make him win. And that's facts, which is really crazy to me. Now, Kamala Harris also says some stuff on Twitter. She said, on behalf of the American people, I thank Joe Biden for his extraordinary leadership as president of the United States and for his decades of service to our country. I am honored to have the president's endorsement and my intention is to earn and win this nomination. I would do everything in my power to unite the Democratic Party and unite our nation to defeat Donald Trump and his Extreme Project 2025 agenda. If you are with me, add a donation right now. Now, that was crazy also, bruh. This is about to get more interesting. Now, remember, you know, Trump was like, uh, he said it, right? He prophesied it. He said that. He already got the information that Biden was going to drop out of the race and it finally happened. Now, he also said that when the deputy, which is Kamala, 
takes over is going to be a problem because you know she's really a tough woman she's really you know a strong woman and stuff like that and you know chastain seems to have problem about that situation now i don't like talking about politics but at the end of the day man it is what it is right these people are leaders they are going to be leading the whole world not just the united states of america right because you know it's, it's really crazy at the end of the day but i want you all to let me know what you all think do you think Justin White's opinion will really change anything? Because I don't think about going on social media, man, supporting this person and supporting that person when your opinion doesn't even matter, which is crazy, right? And I keep my opinion to myself because I don't really have interest in political matters. But I have to bring up this news because it has something to do with my, you know, favorite content creator, Justin White, right? Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys later.